Well, the RTX 50 series might just be coming a lot sooner than you thought. Let's talk about it. Okay, so there's been some rumors going around for a little while that the RTX 50 series might not be actually launching until, well, 2025, which is just absolutely insane. That would be the longest period between GPU launches that we've seen in, honestly, as far as I can remember, although maybe I'm wrong. But guys, I got some really great news because it sounds like that is probably not gonna be the case, and in fact, it could actually end up happening even sooner. Now, this all started with a post over on Twitter by the user AGF, who I can confirm, by the way, definitely does have some inside sources over at NVIDIA. So this isn't just some random guy on the internet. He does have some legitimacy, and he was responding to the Twitter account Kepler, who also does leak stuff. And Kepler said, tape out this year, question mark. I thought it was launching in 2025. And AGF responded by saying, I don't know where this 2025 rumor comes from, but it's still scheduled for the second half of 2024. And then the other leaker, Copite7Kimi, who is well known for leaking NVIDIA stuff as well, stated this agree. So that's actually some really interesting information because he didn't even just say like quarter four of 2024, he said second half. So that means it could be anywhere in the second half of 2024 if this turns out to be true, which guys, I honestly do believe it will be true. And we will get into that a little bit more in just a second, but that would be absolutely fantastic if we saw closer to maybe the beginning of the second half of 2024, as that is technically a possibility. I mean, getting an RTX 50 50, 90 in less than a year could be really, really exciting stuff. But there's more, guys. There's another post over on the website WCCF Tech that has more information about these upcoming next generation GPUs. Now, this does actually originate from DigiTimes where they stated, quote, for NVIDIA, which monopolizes more than 80% of the AI GPU market, the next generation B100 will use TSMC's three nanometer family and is scheduled to appear in the fourth quarter of 2024. And guys, I do want you to pay attention to the wording in this stuff because yes, they are not talking about GeForce, but it still does give us some information about the next generation because if AI is on three nanometer, I think the leaks and rumors about a potential three nanometer RTX 5090 are very unlikely to be true and here's why. So we do know that three nanometer will be on some NVIDIA next generation GPUs. And we also do know that they very likely will be leveraging GDDR7 at 32 gigabits per second. But what we don't know for sure is what process it will be on. However, guys, I think I know what it's gonna be and it makes a lot of sense. So three nanometer is definitely gonna be used for AI chips and they're gonna need all the capacity they can get as it's gonna be between them and Apple, essentially using up the majority of three nanometer. So why would you put GeForce on three nanometer? I don't think it makes any sense whatsoever. It would drive up the cost substantially and GeForce would essentially be competing with AI. And guys, let me tell you, you do not want that. So I think what they're gonna do is actually stick on a four nanometer node of some type. Now, they are currently using the N4 node and they could stick with that for cost reasons, but I do think they'll either move to N4P or N4X with N4X being the most likely. Now, if you don't know, there's actually official information on both of these nodes from TSMC and they are essentially both available or should be available soon at this point with plenty of time for NVIDIA to develop GPUs using these nodes. Now, specifically first taking a look at N4P, as you can see, it does have some minor improvements over the current N4 node that NVIDIA is using. However, N4X has even more improvements and I do want to read it off to you. So according to TSMC, they say, quote, these HPC features will enable N4X to offer a performance boost of up to 15% over N5 or up to 4% over the even faster N4P at 1.2 volt. N4X can achieve drive voltages beyond 1.2 volt and deliver additional performance. But what would that look like? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this chart that I've thrown together. Now, a little while ago, there was some leaked information, mostly from Red Gaming Tech on what the RTX 5090 could look like. But at the time, I felt like it was probably gonna be changing a bit by the time it comes out. And here's what I think it's gonna actually look like on the N4X node. So the RTX 5090 or the GB202, according to the latest leaks from Copite7Kimi, is likely, like I mentioned, gonna be on the N4X node and have a total 
SM slash coup de corps count of 162 slash 20,736 as it's likely they will use the cheaper node to drive for a slightly larger GPU. Now this will also just doing some simple math, allow them to get close to 2.8 gigahertz on the boost clock, a substantial increase over the 2.52 on the current RTX 4090. You couple that with 32 gigabits per second GDDR7 on a 384-bit bus, and you're talking about roughly 50% more bandwidth at 1,536 gigabytes per second versus the 1,008 on the RTX 4090. Then you also probably will be looking at around 108 megabytes of L2 cache if they do have a similar L2 cache structure, although that's not confirmed. They definitely could change that. And a TDP will likely stay the same at 450 watts as 450 watts was a little overkill for the RTX 4090, but it will probably actually need to be used if they're going for N4X and larger dies with higher clock speeds. So what is the performance gonna look like? Well, if we do the math, it would get you roughly 116.1 teraflops. You divide that by the 82.6 on the 4090, and you're talking about 141% of the RTX 4090. And guys, that's not accounting for the idea that there could be IPC improvements. So I do truly believe between the much higher bandwidth as well as potentially leaked information coming from people like Red Gaming Tech of you know, redoing their SM structure for higher performance that 40% more performance on average in gaming is actually very likely. And again, this is just on a N4 customized node essentially. So it's not gonna cost nearly as much as moving to three nanometer. I think it all makes sense, it all lines up. And this is just gonna allow for cheaper graphics cards as well. Now the RTX 5090 likely not going down in price, but the other cards down the stack probably will. It seems like the RTX 4080 was not selling particularly well at $1,200 and sticking on a older node will likely allow them to drop the price, hopefully to at least $999, but realistically, I think they need to drop it to $899 for people to get more excited about an 80 class card once again. And I do think that will trickle down the entire lineup. Now, it isn't confirmed. Of course, they could raise prices for all we know, but it's very likely that since this will likely be cheaper overall, that you will also be seeing cheaper graphics cards potentially sooner than anybody thought. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the RTX 50 series really will come out sooner than we thought? And do you think it's gonna actually be cheaper? Or do you think I'm having delusions of grandeur? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you enjoyed the content and you wanna support, as well as get access to the Discord to ask me questions, I will have my Patreon linked in the description below to get you access. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.